Telford Road. An absolutely beautiful morning here in Leicester. Got into rugby, I think through my granddad mainly. I was very fortunate that the local rugby club, which is literally like three minutes up the road, actually started a, a girls section. Final match of round four of the women's Six Nations. The Six Nations for me is just an unbelievable tournament. You can just see that's the experience of Natasha Hunt. Especially in the women's game because naturally we play so much club rugby to play alongside that many people as teammates and then to go up against them like in a fierce environment. There's nothing quite like it. Here come England. What a try! Taking my break from rugby, I was just mentally in a bit of a hole. I think not that it wasn't making me happy anymore, but I was definitely like more upset going into camps than I was um, when I wasn't there and something had to change because I couldn't drag myself out of it. I just decided that actually like to do the right thing, not only just for me, but for the environment, for the girls, for the coaches, everything, it was, it was time to actually like just step back. I think it's really difficult to like keep your rugby life separate from my normal life, um, especially because like my normal life now actually involves coaching rugby. While I'd love to keep it separate and I'd love to be like Mo as a person and, and that sort of thing, like it's such a massive part of my life that you can't really like box that up and you can't step away from it. Every time I see my grandma, she's like, love you, darling. Not just because of your rugby, we just love you for you. <laughs> Having that break and coming back in, everything's just refreshed for me. Just the want and the desire and the hunger to get better is just gone next level for me. Like it's accentuated 100%. There have been times in my career where we've missed friends' weddings, there's been times where we've missed like family occasions. I know lots of people have had to, to make decisions, like really tough decisions about different bits going on in their life. But again, like that's just kind of how you balance your values and how you like how you balance what's most important to you. I choose to be doing what I do and I choose the fact that like playing for England means so much to me. One thing that I try and install in a lot of my girls is like it's about balance, like when you've got opportunity to enjoy time with each other or enjoy other elements of life, like it's so important that you take those. They just can't stop winning. I think the turning point for the women's game has been happening for a few years now. The way that the game has transformed in the short amount of time that I've been involved in it, like I just, I'm so excited to see where it can go. There's so many things with rugby, whether it's body positivity, whether it's the people that are involved, whether it's like how inclusive it is. I think that we have a huge responsibility to make sure that we're like brilliant advocates of, of how amazing this sport is and, and what you can get out of it because there's so many elements of the game that are actually uh, like amazing and should be celebrated.